welcome to politics. Hi, I'm Miss Maidman and I'm going to be telling you a little bit about politics A-level at Kebbigs. Firstly, I think you should study politics if you are interested in the world around you, you're curious about what politicians actually do, you're interested in how governments work and how decisions and laws are made, you like to debate and discuss or argue ideas like power and freedom, you want to know more about how those freedoms are maintained and protected both in the UK and the US, if you're already politically aware, that's really useful, but not a requirement. If you want to understand the current situation that we're living in and uh, follow the news a little bit better, or if you have questions about the similarities and differences between the UK and the US systems of government, politics would be right for you. If you chose to study politics at Kevigs, what would you study? It is broken down into three main parts. Paper one looks at the government and politics of the UK. Paper two looks at the government and politics of the US and comparative politics. So that expects you to compare and analyse your knowledge of both the UK and the US to one another. And paper three is the political ideologies paper. You have to study the three compulsory ideologies of liberalism, socialism and conservatism. And the fourth one is chosen by the school and we have selected nationalism. How will I be examined? You will sit three two-hour papers that are each equally weighted. And one thing that's really good about the AQA level is that they all have the same structure. So you only have to learn how to answer three question styles. Section A is three compulsory nine mark questions. Section B is one 25 mark extract based question. And section C is one 25 mark essay question from a choice. If you're thinking about where can politics take you, do I have to go on to do politics at university? I don't want to work in Parliament when I'm older, is it right for me? Well, hopefully you'll see from some of the examples here that you can do whatever you like at university and beyond your A-levels with an A-level in politics. These are some of the places that our politics students have gone to study at university. So there's a broad range across the country. And these are some of the courses that our students have decided to follow at university. There are some obvious ones there, like politics and history, international relations and law. There are also some different ones there, criminology, architecture, mathematics, creative writing, business management. Hopefully you'll see that politics is useful and can take you wherever you want to go. I've been talking for a few minutes now, but I just want to tell you a little bit about me. I am Miss Maidman. I am a teacher of history, politics and RE at Kevix. I'm also the the assistant head of sixth form so if you do choose to study at Kevig you'll see a lot of me. I teach roughly the government side of the course in both the UK and the US and that refers to the constitution, parliament, the prime minister and the supreme court of the UK and on the US side it's the constitution, congress, the president and the United States supreme court. I also on paper three the ideologies paper teach liberalism and socialism. Because I teach so many subjects, I wanted to try and give you a couple of examples of my favourite bits to study. The scrutiny of the executive in paper one is really interesting. I like to look at the relationship between the Prime Minister and Parliament and the factors that change the nature of that relationship. Similarly, I like to look at the theories of presidential power in the US. So that's looking at figures and characters like Lyndon B. Johnson, Barack Obama and comparing them with one another. And then in the ideologies paper, I like to look at the topic of liberalism and the ideas of liberty, freedom and what our rights are and how they are maintained and how that is connected to modern day politics. Now that's all from me. I'm going to pass you over to some of our politics students, what they like to study and what they plan to do in the future. Thanks and bye. Some of my favourite parts about politics is studying the UK side and the constitution and the role of the monarch. The ideology side, especially studying socialism, and on the US side, from the President and Congress. Um, politics can teach you a wide variety of skills, including critical thinking and researching. Um, I very much enjoy politics and I hope to go and study it further at university.